Not many people knew about it. Prep became available on the NHS in 2020? 2020. Yeah, um, it's a pill that prevents people contracting HIV. It's completely free on the NHS. Because um, HIV had primarily affected gay and bisexual men, mm. we focused a lot of the advertising and a lot of awareness in those groups. But then I think we had to do like, catching up in other groups. The issue we have is that where PrEP is available. Mm. So I think we're working on trying to make PrEP available more in different spaces. And only being able to access it in sexual health clinics does limit certain people mm -hmm. that might not want to be seen in those like, kind of environments. There's a lot more work to do and a lot more people need to know about PrEP and need to access it and take it. Also, along with PrEP, there's a medication called PEP, which has been around a bit longer. Um, that's an emergency medication that people can take if they feel like they have been put at risk of contracting HIV. It's a pill you take, one pill every day for 28 days, and you can access that from your local sexual health clinic and A&E. Mm -hmm. But what's important about PEP is to take that within 72 hours of possible exposure to HIV, um, otherwise it's, its efficacy goes down. Yeah, I think lots of people maybe have awareness of PrEP but don't have an awareness of PEP. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a bit more difficult to get because the likelihood of, of HIV isn't as high as it used to be. I think also promotion around it has changed mm -hmm. recently. I think there's been more of a focus on PrEP since uh, PrEP has become available on the NHS. But like uh, PEP is still really important and people should all know about it. Mm -hmm.